Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this one I'll be talking about the new feature macros that is in game. So first of all, the way you turn it on is you go to settings, camera, and use simplified combat controls. Apply, and that is how it activates your macro. So now, first of all, let's look at what it actually does or what this thing says it does, which on first glance is completely retarded. Basic stance thunder slash which Brings you into draw stands and then thunder, thunder, f. What? What is this? Why stone cleave? Okay, so based on this, it looks retarded. By the way, I'm just looking at this for the first time too, so bear with me. Well, let's try it out. Okay, this macro sucks. I know I'm not using any other abilities, but what is this any cancel? Down flicker. I'm not supposed to use them cleave? Okay, I don't get it, but... Alright, so... Uh, you've probably seen enough of this macro already. I had two predictions before this macro was released. One is going to be super good, and it will replace all player info completely. In which case, then I think this game is pretty pointless to play. Because I'm playing this game for its combat, which is what I enjoy the most. If I don't have to do it myself, then what's the point of playing this game? At least I wouldn't have a reason to play it myself. So the other thing I saw was, it sucks. Like, it, what it is now. And people are still going to use it and suck even more. Like, why? Why release this thing when you're not going to make it at least usable? <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe it will work if you have low pain, but... Look at all, all of those hiccups. And you still have to use their other abilities yourself, so you might as well just any cancel manually. It's, it will be way better. Even if you can't any cancel, this macro is not going to do you any good. It's just as bad, if not even worse, than people who don't know how to any cancel. I have to say, this macro is what I thought it would be and beyond in a negative way. Just don't use it. At least for BDs. I haven't looked at it on any other classes, but all of my friends told me they looked at their own class's macro and it sucks. They're like, oh, I see this. I'm not even gonna bother trying it. It sucks. That's basically what it is. So... If you're wondering if this macro is good, if it's worth using, my answer is probably not unless you have like 10 ping. So don't even bother trying if you don't have 10 ping. It's really not worth. Instead of spending the time figuring out how this macro works, you might as well just learn how to anti cancel. That way you'll do a lot more DPS. Like, hold on, let me disable this. Look how smooth an actual player is comparing to this stupid macro. Alright, let's get fairies. Forgot about that. So, conclusion macro sucks. Do not use it. It's a pointless feature. Completely pointless feature. Don't use it. Oh, one thing someone told me too. If you're going to F12, it just disables the macro for you. So, you know, this game doesn't even want you to use it, it's just like, everyone's using macros already, we might as well make it, make one for them, so they don't have to use their own, but this macro sucks, so you still have to use your own if you were using one before. And 
you know, just I okay, I think macros are pointless in the first place. No matter what class you're playing, maybe I can understand why some classes want a macro because they have to spam so much. But on a class like a BD, macros are just pointless, especially when your ping is high and it fluctuates a lot. You have to actually adapt to your new ping since it changes all the time. Meaning if you have a macro, it's just gonna have hiccups just like the one in game. Where you attack smoothly for a bit and then you would just randomly stop attacking. Like that, like that, right there. This is exactly why I hate macros so much. Unless you're playing a class that can actually spam, like a uh, Warlock, then macros are just completely pointless in the first place. But even if you're playing a Warlock, I still think it's better if you actually play it yourself, because what's the point of playing a game if you're all you're doing is holding one button, you know? I, I just don't see a point in playing a game if you're just holding one button for the entirety of a dungeon. So, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this answered any questions that you might have had. And if you have any other comments or thoughts, please feel free to leave it in the comments. And thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.